he gonna tell you what what the what the what the song what the music industry tells him to tell you. And sometimes you because you don't know what you don't know what is or what what's supposed to be, you're gonna take it for whatever it is. So music is teaching people the wrong way. Even sometimes they, it's te teaching them the wrong way, but you probably think like, oh, um, it's not saying nothing bad. It's saying that every everybody should love each other and we are equal. But really, the Bible don't say that. So he is telling you something bad, but you don't know it's bad. You think it's cool that everybody should hold, hold hands and sing Kumbaya like Martin Luther King said. Like, oh, we all should get along. Can't we, like, you know, um, yeah, I have a dream that one day black, yellow, and white will be holding hands. That's not true. The Lord created us and put us in our own land. That's why the Bible says the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and set him in his own land. Because that's how it's supposed to be originally. It's supposed to be having your own. Like he created all of us to have our own stuff. He don't want us to mingle. He don't want us to mix. He don't, he don't want you to marry interracial. He don't want you to do none of that. He don't want you to have kids with other nations. He don't want you to be best friends with them. He don't want none of that. He wants you to hold your corner and just be over, over there with your own kind. But because we don't know no better, that's what happened to us. We think it's cool. And we think like it's, race, it's racist to say that you love your own brothers and sisters. But it's not. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. They're going to tell you something wrong with that. So listen to this. If I'm lying, why would it say this, right? If we're supposed to mix with everybody, why is the Bible saying this? For the Lord, this is Isaiah chapter 14, right? For, for the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will, will, will yet choose Israel. So that right there means... Um, so Jacob is us, right? It's a nation of people. It's our forefather's name. And Israel is the same thing. But you know how we have a nickname? But it's the same person. Because the Lord was so delighted in, in Jacob that he, na he named him Israel af af after the land that we, we, that, that we um, own, that the Lord gave us, Israel. That land they, they, they fighting over there in Africa, that's our land, Israel. So it's never gonna, the Bible said there's never going to be no peace there because those are not that, that's not the original people. They stole it. That's stolen land. That's why there's, there's no um, rest for the wicked because you stole the land and then you fight for it. You understand? So it's like thief never love to see thief with long back type of shit. Yeah. yeah so the Bible say you you ain't, you ain't gonna never rest peacefully there. Just like America too. Um, this land was stolen. I mean. America, which is the same Jamaica, right? Jamaica, they, all these land was stolen from their original people. And they were murdered, bloodshed, to take the land. So the, the earth itself is calling back for the, for, the, for the blood of the ones who took the, the lives of the original people. So, so the blood the blood's supposed to go back in the ground there from, from, from the ones who stole it. So that's what it's saying. It's calling for it. So it's like that's the spiritual essence of life. It's not just physical. Like there is there is duckies calling for what for revenge of what you did to them. Like you chopped the nigga head off just because he's a nigga, like that. Like you gonna feel it eventually, but you gonna feel it. The Bible say you your cup will be, be filled double. So what whatever you did to people, you gonna get it back ten times worse. You gonna get it double time. You understand? Mm -hmm. So that's why it takes so long for revenge to come because when it does come this time, it's gonna be so powerful on the earth. It's going to be Armageddon, right? It's going to be nothing but war and bloodshed until all the other ones that's doing doing the bad is, is killed off. And remember, it's like 8 billion people plus people, right, on the earth. So that's a lot of blood. Think about it. And I believe in that. I believe that the Lord created people. He created 18 nations of people. He created people just to be, you know, um... Because he wanted to. That's for his own satisfaction. So you can't question why he did it or why he had them fighting. He wants that. It's like you you created something that's yours. Nobody can't question it. Oh, why he, why why he he made that car to drive on four wheels? Because he did it. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah. yeah. So that's what the Lord is saying. So he said, For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the, the house of Jacob. So the strangers they're talking about is the people, the other people. Like, like Chinese people. But in the Bible, they don't call them Chinese. It, like Chinese in the Bible is Moab. M-O-A-B. That's, that's the nation of people. Moab. And Japanese is... Um, Japanese is... I can't remember. White, the white man is um, Esau. Right? Esau. The Edomites. Meaning red. Meaning the, the their um, blood shows through their skin. That's what it means, right? In, in our, our original language, because they're Hebrew too. Their original language too is is Hebrew. Yeah, but they're not supposed to be living with us. They're supposed to be over there, and we're supposed to be over here. Because the Lord made many nations, but He didn't make them to mix up with each other. He made some of them to to not to have sex with each other, but like. To, for, for like okay okay the Bible says the Chinese the so-called Chinese man Moab supposed to be our slave like and he's and the so-called white man supposed to be our slave like they but they say the Lord say they're not equal to us we're above them bro you know, they say they say for, for for you are a holy people unto the Lord thy God the Lord thy God has chosen you above all people on the face of the earth that's the Bible I just quoted. And holy means separate. The word holy, if somebody say I'm holy, it means the Lord created you separately. Like he made you special above everything. That's what holy means. So, um, and the Lord shall, and, and, and the Lord, um, for the Lord will have mercy on, upon Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place. So we're going to take them, like, after the war, for the Lord going to have mercy on us, and we're going to survive the war. So the, the rest of the nations that were enslaving us, like the Chinese, the East Indians, and the white man and all these people, right, and the Arabs, we're going to take them, right? See, it didn't say we're going to ask them. It said we're going to take them. Listen to what the Bible saying. It say these are strangers, right? And he say, and the strangers shall be joined with them. This is after the war, right? And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob, which is us, right? Israel, Jacob, right? Same person, right? And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them. See, it's the same person, right? The house of Israel, the house of Jacob is the same person. You see that? Shall, um, the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. So we're going to take them and we're going we to put them into slavery. So it say we're going to take them for servants and handmaids. As those are servants, those are, those are slaves. Like they're going to, because after the, the war, the, the ones that that's left on the earth, because the Lord going to kill a lot of us too, black people. He going to he gonna kill us because we're wicked. But the ones that's left and the other so-called nations, they're going to build up our kingdom. Because the, the earth is going to be destroyed with all the bombs and stuff that drop and bullets flying and all that stuff. So we're not going to have no, no technology, no electricity or none of that no more. We're going to have to start from scratch. You're going to have to build fires to cook and all that, right? So, those people that are left, all bloody and pissy and shitty, we're going to take them and we're going to clean them up and we're going to make them build our, 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 our kingdom back. Yeah. And if they don't, we're going to kill them. Yeah. And we're going to keep them in slavery for a thousand years. And after that, the Lord is going to destroy those nations and make them don't, don't be around us anymore. Because if we give them a second chance to come back, they're going to uprise again and go against the Lord again and kill us. So the Lord is going to wipe them out, actually. That's why the Lord say there will be no more seed after he comes, after he returns. But the, the seed doesn't mean the word. He's referring to the other nations.
Because that's what they used to, to get to us, is by sea. You understand? Even if they wasn't flying, it was coming by sea. You understand? So the sea is what surrounds the, the islands. And for me to explain this to you, and for, them, for it to make sense, the Lord put the, the knowledge in those priests to explain to me. And I, under, I fully understand the Bible. I know what's coming and all that. That's why I was able to tell Shamir stuff like, don't go somewhere, you're going to get killed, and all that. And that's why people are always trying to kill me. But not succeeding because the Lord touched me. So I know you can't just come and kill me like I'm a piece of garbage. Because I'm not. Because yeah. I praise God. So I'm one of his soldiers. Mm -hmm. So he's not going to protect me though. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's why you see them all trying to kill me. But they're not, they're not um, succeeding. Mm -hmm. and, and you don't see me walking with no gun. Yeah. Right. And he shall take them and bring them bring them. To, to, um, to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids, and they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. And it shall come to pass in the days that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve. He's talking about us, right? That thou shalt, that thou shalt take up proverbs against the king of Babylon and say, How has the oppress, how has the oppressor ceased? The golden city ceased. The Lord, the Lord had broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers, who smite the people with wrath, continual, continual strokes. He that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted. And none hinder it. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet after that. That's crazy. This man is stirring up the whole earth. I tell people that. I say, when I when I come to Jamaica and I see that, I say, listen, Jamaican people was was tricked. Y'all are under mind control. Just like the American blacks. Y'all, y'all don't know y'all self. Y'all, y'all don't have um no passion no more for nothing. Y'all only think about survival in the wrong way which means your survival is, is just to kill your brother to survive that's the wrong survival way the, the survival way that originally was in the in the land of jamaica when the slaves were first here was to help each other help your brother to overcome whatever obstacle meaning the so-called white man you supposed to help your brother to overcome him because he's behind all of this the east indian the chinese that's in your land enslaving you and taking all your your resources and your money those people are your true enemy those are the ones you're supposed to team up against that's your op that you sing about in the songs not the so-called black man your brother the israelite not not your brother and sisters but they don't know better they were tricked bro we as a people were tricked to think that jamaica is a, a land of paradise and the Lord set us here after slavery, right? The Lord set us here through slavery, and we, after slavery, we were, we were lucky enough to inherit this land that's land of wood and water. And what do we do? We turn against each other and start killing each other with the so-called white man's guns and, and, and praising violence and murder. And, and having no sympathy for your brothers and sisters and having a school face all day. Because you can't, you can't snap out of that school face he put on you, right? He, he hypnotized you to put to, to turn the smile into a school face. When you used to smile with your brothers and sisters. And that's sad, bro. That I have to come in and tell you about yourself and tell you that you're wrong. You need to turn back to God. I mean, the Lord is going to work on everybody. He's going to work on your enemy. But guess what? He's going to work on you also. And he might work on you a special way because you are special to him. He might he might kill you. Because you're not you're not you're not trying to hear the truth, which is your brother is your brother and not your op. Your brother ain't your op, bro. I love all my brothers and sisters. I don't have to look at them as no op. Before that happened, I just don't deal with them. I just don't let them see me. You know what I'm saying? Because death is is, is 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 a destruction to humanity. You're not, some, you're not supposed to be killing. The Lord kill us and the Lord take it. Um, the Lord make us alive. You're not God. You know what I'm saying? We're supposed to be trying to uplift each other and living and, and working in solidarity against the true enemy that's on the face of the earth destroying the whole earth.
that's real. But guess what? The Lord 